Next guest is a very funny comedian, TikTok trendsetter, and most importantly, a friend of mine. She will be performing her new comedy hour. It's called The Intruder at the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal next month. Please give a warm welcome to Atsuko Okatsuka. <laughs> seeing your yeah, your bright sweet. shining face. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love seeing your bright shining face. I discovered Atsuko, I didn't discover her, but I discovered her personally mm -hmm. on TikTok because right. you have a very popular TikTok which you're very funny on and Instagram. <laughs> And I was following you along. She does these really funny videos with her grandmother. And I was following you along. And then you messaged me first, or did I message you first? You know, I had seen that you were commenting, and I was like, Chelsea Handler is following me. <laughs> Chelsea Handler is following me. You know, the Chelsea, the one I watched growing up in my garage with my mom and grandma all cramped. There's Chelsea Handler. There's Chelsea. We got to stay up. It's Chelsea, you know? And so when I saw you were following me, and then I started seeing you commenting, like, I think I just saw you at the Portland airport. Very casual commenting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're friends already, right? That's something you say to a friend, but publicly on my Instagram feed. So I was like, I think she wants to be friends. <laughs> Naturally. So that's when I DM'd you. Yeah. I took a leap, you know, and I was like, hey, if you ever want an opener, I think that's what I said. Yeah, you said if you ever want, an, or would you, if you've ever, if you'd ever be open to me opening, there's a lot of opens, opens. in the yeah. message. Yeah. If you ever would be yeah, open to me true. opening for you. And I was like, you know what? I love that you asked that. And I was like, yeah, come and open for me and whatever, whatever gig, San Francisco or San Jose or something we did. Which was so trusting because I could have, I could have sucked. I could have, right? Like, just somebody random, you know? You've seen me dancing. I don't know what drew you to me. I don't know if it was the booty. or I don't know if it was the grandma. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, there's so many things, a multitude of things that drew me to you. It is the dancing. It's the grandma. I love anybody who loves their grandmother, because mine was a real bitch. <laughs> and... I'm sorry to hear that. That's OK. Yeah. That's OK. You know, God rest her soul, or yeah. whatever the saying is. Of course, yeah. Um, but congratulations on having one that you love and get along with, and that's so much fun. I know. I'm so lucky. Like, I think most people, you know, when I, when I show my grandma online, I'm trying to do that for people maybe who didn't have a nice grandma. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so I, I just want you to see, you know, feel like you can be adopted into this family. Right, you know? right. Yeah. And you guys started a pretty major trend, which is the drop challenge, which we have a clip of. Give me some. A masterpiece. That turned into a huge thing on, on TikTok. It went viral everywhere. There was like 8.5 million views, right? In a yeah. very short amount of time. Yeah, and that's just the ones that used my audio. And there were so people, there were other ones worldwide that I, you know, people had to tag me in for me to see, you know. People in Kenya were doing it. Kerry Washington, the cast of Hamilton, Broadway, <laughs> uh, cast of SNL, Serena Williams. It was just like so. That's so cool. It's, it's a piece of art. You know, it's, it's a, it's a... Chelsea Handler did it. I did it at Pike Place Market in Seattle, you know, where they throw the fish? Yeah. And then they, and then she went, you were there the next day in Pike yeah. Place and did the same video that I did. Well, yeah. not the same, because you have rhythm and I don't. I... You do. Well, it's hard. You... It's like, I'm almost like a fish. You know what I mean? When, when the music comes on, it's like I can move my body, but it's not to the beat. Sure, sure. And it's, but th this is, this is like a dance anyone can do. It's really just hit that beat, Chelsea, get that beat, just boom. I know your mom told you to never dance. We, and <laughs> I... No, that was actually my grandmother. <laughs> well, well, but I, 
first of all, what, catching those fish at Pike Place is no easy feat, as you learned, because you catch it, they throw it across a thing. So for me to, to catch the fish and then to have rhythm was like, it, my mind was blown. It's a whole slippery fish. It's a very slippery fish. It's well, ginormous, and they go, look alive. And yeah. you're like, okay. <laughs> and, and you know, like, we're not fisher people. <laughs> so once you touch it, you're shocked at how wet and slippery a well, fish is. Also, because if you look on dating sites, so many men are holding up fish. So yeah. it looks so easy. Like my sister is trying to date, and she always shows me every guy's got like a bass in their hands. I'm oh. like, is who, it, is who it, are it, these men looking for? Like other fishing women? You know, I don't yeah. even. Oh, it's all about the size, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at this big, a big wet fish. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> Do they put it next to a, a newspaper too? You know how they're always like with with like <laughs> penis pictures. It's like I don't. Is it from recent? I don't know, which doesn't make sense to me because it's not like the penis really changes Changes size. over time, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it probably does. Everything changes over time. No, of course. As you can see, I haven't dated in years, yeah. No, you're so married. Atsuko's married, married, married to a very nice gentleman who's in the back, and he travels with you everywhere, which is also cute. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a ditz, you know? So without him around, I, I literally, I would be like dead in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> like, I, I literally, I would just like follow the wrong person. When I'm at a Whole Foods, he's, he's this white guy, 6'3", brunette. Like, when I'm at a Whole Foods, I, I've totally, like, grabbed someone that kind of looks like him, you know? And so I need him around, because I'm just very, like... Have you seen Old Enough, the TV show where, like, toddlers get sent down to do errands? Um, <laughs> Yeah. That's my kind of show. Yeah, it's yeah. Anyway, that's that's me, and uh, yeah, and so he does do everything with me, and yeah. Well, he's great, and he also filmed the challenge. Guillermo, have you ever done the drop challenge? Because I no, thought... no, never. Okay, well, I thought that would be a nice family activity for us, since you yeah, and I are sure. just getting yeah. to know each other. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, hi, how are you? Good. Good. I, okay. I'll follow you. Okay, we'll follow you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's really just like a shot. Right. Oh, wow. So, okay, uh, let's listen for the beat. You're just gonna kind of do Intruder at the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal next month, and we will be right back <laughs> with the music from Jelly Roll.